people won't be able to go back home tonight after a fire at an apartment complex in Kearns. Lin uh, News Specialist Lindsay Ertz is at the Carrington Square Apartments. And Lindsay, what do we know about what happened today? Yeah, Debbie and Ashley, thankfully no one was hurt in this fire, but this all started just after 12.30 this afternoon when flames were seen coming out of the roof of this apartment. I want to show you where that the flames were coming out right now where that tarp is covering the area. Now, fire officials now say they had to evacuate all 24 apartments in this complex, but four of the apartments have enough damage in them that those residents can't go back in. I also want to show you what this fire looked like. Sent to us by one of the displaced residents, you can see the flames are coming out of the roof of this apartment and that the front of the building is under construction. Now, Unified Fire is still working to determine if the fire started in the attic or on top of the roof. We talked to one witness who said he was helping knock on people's doors to get them out. Another resident says he heard people on the roof, assuming it was construction, but it all happened so fast he didn't even have time to put shoes on. So I said they've been working for like a lot of, I mean, it's been more than a year they've been working on these buildings. So I thought probably they're just working. And then all of a sudden we hear this loud bang on the doors, like fire department. And uh, they told us to leave straight up, like nothing, they said, you guys need to go out, it's a fire. Our, our units made a, a quick attack, got up inside the apartments and, and found fire in the attic space. They were able to do a pretty quick extinguishment before it spread, but there is some pretty significant fire damage up in uh, the top floors. Now, Unified spokesman Kelly Bird says that they do believe this fire was incidental. However, he says some construction workers were working on the roof. They had left for lunch, and when they came back, the fire had started, but he could not elaborate on what exactly may have caused it. Now, this apartment is run by Bach Homes, uh, who says that they hire out their contractors here. They also say they're helping these displaced families. The Red Cross has also told us they will be helping the families. For now, for Live at Five reporting in Currents for KSL 5 TV. I'm Lindsay Ertz. Back to you. Lindsay, thanks. Make sure to download the KSL Plus app to get breaking alerts like this uh, sent straight to your phone.